Welcome to an introduction to computer forensics. What is computer forensics in the digital science? The precise date of when forensic science began is unclear as there are many different fields in which forensic science can be applied. Certainly people have been trying to determine how people died for thousands of years. The Chinese book Svi Duan Yu, that means the washing away of wrongs, which appeared in about 1248, described the effects of different ways of dying, for example, death by drowning as opposed to death by execution. Nearly 700 years later, the first crime laboratory was established in the U.S. by the Los Angeles Sheriff Department in 1930. Although forensic science has been evolving for many centuries, digital forensics is a relatively new development. To call something a science, it has to study, describe, and investigate phenomena in its field. A key aspect of this is that new knowledge generated by a study and investigation has to be repeatable. A complex investigation can have many opportunities for error or misinterpretation. In the digital forensics field, tools and techniques are often reviewed, but it is not uncommon for the findings that are presented in court cases to be the work of a single investigator and therefore unverified. There are three main aspects of the scientific process that need to be highlighted because they are very relevant for computer forensics. The first is to clearly define the question or purpose of the research. The second is the definition of a hypothesis, which is a potential explanation for a phenomenon. A computer forensic investigator often needs to develop a hypothesis to explain what happened on a computer and what it was used for. The third aspect is that many discussions of the scientific process overlook verification of results. This leads often to improper results, since computer forensic cases can be life-changing for many individuals. Every effort must be taken to ensure that findings of the investigation are accurate. Computer forensics is not limited to criminal investigation. It can be used to solve problems in corporate settings, such as recovering lost files and reconstructing information from damaged equipment, and also to test for changes to devices. Malware and botnet research are often areas that use digital forensics, particularly when trying to determine impacts. The steps to handle digital evidence are described now in short. Identification. To identify and mark relevant things that could possibly be evidence. Preservation. To store possible evidence. Collection. To summarize all evidence relevant for one case. Examination to investigate and get an overview of possible evidence. Analysis, to process the examination results. Presentation, to represent the results from the analysis in an appropriate format. Digital evidence is extremely volatile and can easily be lost or modified. This can be prevented or minimized by taking steps such as having multiple backup copies, data on readable disks only which cannot be rewritten, observing the chain of custody, and when it is absolutely necessary to access the data, note what was done and when. When evidence is being collected of a standalone home computer, the best way to do so while keeping it all intact is to follow the following procedure. In the first step, leave the computer off if it is off and photograph the scene and computer. If the screen is on, photograph the screen as well. The aim of the second step is to collect any live data like RAM and network connections. In the third step, collect a logical image if the hard disk is encrypted. The fourth step 
is about unplugging the computer by removing the plug from the tower, removing the battery, label all cords, and document the device model in serial numbers. Now, in the fifth step, disconnect all cords. Check for RAM and hard drives and package everything within anti-static evidence bags in the sixth step. Now, take all storage media, keep everything away from magnets, and collect all instruction manuals and notes from the area in the seventh step. Finally, show all the steps used when collecting the evidence. Examination of digital evidence should be done by professionals in digital forensics so as not to ruin anything. A useful piece of information is known as metadata. Metadata is basically data of data. It summarizes what the actual data has to say and it can be utilized to tell a lot about the actual data. Examples of this are the name and address of the user who created the data, the location of a file on a computer, or even the date and timestamp of the data. 